Hello, scholars. I'm going to be helping you with your first grade skills lesson. My name is Miss Jane, and today we're on lesson 24. Let's get started. Today's objectives are to identify common nouns that name a person or a thing, and read words with short vowels. Today we're going to start off by looking back at one of our old stories from Snapshots and going on a noun hunt. Let's read and see how many nouns we can find. Remember, nouns name a person or a thing. I am Beth. I am 10. I am at camp. Camp is fun. Do you see any nouns there that name a person? Beth is a noun that names a person. Do you see any nouns that name a thing? I don't see any nouns that name a thing on this page. Let's go to the next one. Once mom and dad went on a trip to the camp. All of us were at the camp. Dad and I went up on top of a path at the pond. Mom got a snapshot of us. This is the snapshot. Do you see any nouns that name a person? This page says mom and dad. Both mom and dad are people. So the words mom and dad are nouns that name a person. What about nouns that name a thing? This one's a little tricky. The noun that names a thing on this page is snapshot. The snapshot is talking about this picture. The picture is a thing. Let's go to the next page. Then mom let us snap some shots. Dad got a snapshot of mom. Do you see any nouns that name a person on this page? Mom and dad again. What about nouns that name a thing? That's right, snapshot is on this page too. Let's look at the last page. I got a snapshot of a dog with a hot dog. Do you see any nouns that name a person on this page? There aren't any nouns that name a person. What about nouns that name a thing? There's snapshot again. There's dog. A dog is a thing you can have or hold. And hot dog. That's also a thing. Great job. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Good noun hunt. Next, we're going to be looking at some consonant sounds with double letter spellings. Sometimes the consonant says a sound, but there are two letters to make that sound. We're going to review some of the ones that we've seen. The sound k can be spelled with two c's. It still says k, k but two c's are used to spell this sound. Let's look at another sound that has a double letter spelling. The sound t can sometimes be spelled with two t's, like in sitting. The power bar is small, that means it's not very common. But sometimes we have to know that it might be two t's that make the t sound. Here's another example, the sound r, r. 
sometimes r can have two r's for the spelling just like in the word ferret the power bar is small so it's not very common but it can still happen where r is spelled with two r's here's another consonant that has a double letter spelling this one is n sometimes n can be spelled with two n's like in the word running the power bar is short so it's not very common but you still might run across the sound n being spelled with two n's We've got one more double letter sound. This one is p. Sometimes you might see p spelled with two p's, as in napping. The power bar is short, so that means it's not very common. But sometimes p is spelled with two p's. For our worksheet today, we're going to be sorting. This is the last thing we're going to do. I'm gonna start it with you and then you can finish it on your own. You're gonna sort the k sounds that are spelled with a C, the k sounds that are spelled with a K, and the k sounds that are spelled with CK. For this, you just have to look at the word to see which spelling it has. They all say the k sound. Let's look at the first word. Cat. Cat has just a C. So we would write it under the spelling that has just a C. And then once you've used it, cross it off. Let's look at another. Kit. Kit has a K for the spelling. So we'll find the column that has K. And then cross off the word. Then we have Jack. In Jack, there's a C and a K that make the K sound. So we need to put it in the column that has CK. Jack is a name, so it needs a capital J at the beginning. Finish this word sort by finding which spelling K has in the rest of these words. That's all we've got for today. Keep up the great work and I'll see you next time.